This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those of you who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, look for the Teachable Moments that are all around you. Enjoy. A prayer for wisdom and spiritual discernment. Heavenly Father, I come to you because I need wisdom that only your spirit can give me. Help me to lean not solely on my own opinions and my own understanding, thoughts, or dreams. I need godly, not earthly wisdom, Lord. Please supply me in knowledge and truth as I battle these tough decisions and uncertainty. Father, open my eyes to the barriers holding me back from spiritual progress and help me to walk confidently as I discern the next steps I need to take in my life. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name, I ask. Amen. So the next subsection we're going to look at for chapter 3, Territorial Spirits, is Spirits in Other Lands. When I first met Omar Cabrera several years ago, I wondered if his ministry of breaking the power of Territorial Spirits was unique or whether others might know something about it as well. Now since then, my research has uncovered several reports okay, um, from different parts of the world that seem to confirm the reality of what we are talking about now for example Timothy Warner of Trinity I'm getting tongue tied (laughs) Evangelical Divinity School believes that pioneer missionaries especially need to be prepared to break the power of spirits um, that rule territories he relates um, incidents from missionaries to um, Indians in Canada and New Guinea where his where this was actually done now Paul Choi describes an interview with an American Presbyterian chaplain who had experienced a dry fruitless ministry among the military okay in Germany but in Korea suddenly heaven opens and the spirit pours out now Choi says that in Germany the powers of the sky were not broken because the German church did not pray oh in Korea the atmosphere of the air is different because the cosmic evil powers have been broken now in Korea Cho says there is not so much pollution as we are a praying church there is not so much pollution what he cites the early morning prayer meetings the all-night prayer meetings and the prayer mountains that are all very much a part of Korean church life look at that now Jack M Chisholm the pastor of the Glendale California Presbyterian Church made an investigative trip to Korea. Oh, he was curious, huh? Among many lessons for growth and renewal, he learned was his newfound conviction that he that we need to be able to tackle the strongholds to break down the towers and to set people free. He believes that the new wave of the power of the Holy Spirit that many of us are seeing will break, <clears throat> excuse me, will break the backs of demonic institutions that hold nations as well as people in bondage. Now, Bill Jackson tells in World Christian Magazine of a missionary couple in Thailand who saw no fruit for years until they decided to set one day a week aside to go into the woods and engage the ter- the territorial spirits in warfare. A wave of conversions actually followed, and Jackson believes that thousands of unreached persons and people are currently under the direct thumb of Satan. He says the gospel won't go forward among these people until we bind the spirits that bind them whether those deceptive forces be from other uh, Hinduism some for Islam or any of the merit of other religions that are out there okay 
Now, in recent years, churches have been growing rapidly in Brazil, but very slowly in the, you know, the neighboring Uruguay. Now, a missionary who met uh, Ralph Mahoney of World Map had a strange experience while distributing tracts, religious tracts, in a small town on the border of Brazil and Uruguay where the main street divided the two nations. Now he found that on the Uruguay side, no one would accept the tracks, while they received them gratefully on the Brazilian side of the street. Look at that. And individuals who refused them on the Uruguay side would change their attitude and, <laughs> wow, and taken them on the Brazilian side. Wow. The missionary's interpretation was that in crossing the street, because that's all they're really doing, they were passing out from under the covering of darkness in Uruguay into a country that experienced, in part, the removing of the covering. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have revealed your love to us today. We invite you to send us out from here in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fan into flame the gifts that you have given us and come reveal your grace and truth to us each day. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. just listening to Teachable Moments with April podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our other social media platforms such as TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, check us out on our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place. You can leave messages and give feedback and more.